This Debaco University video is going to highlight the terpene linalu, so hopefully you can learn a little bit more information about this. All right, let's get into the terpene guide for linalu. So first off, where is it located, its scent, and its basic properties? Well, it has a floral uh, terpene and used in many perfumes. It's something you might be familiar with. And it's found in a whole host of different foods, such as cinnamon, celery, lavender, uh, rosewood, sweet basil, and thyme as well. Linalu is commonly found in lavender, and its aroma is light and floral, and that's why you might be familiar with this particular um, scent. It does differ from other terpenes commonly found in cannabis, and that it has an OH, or hydroxyl group, attached to it, making it a terpene alcohol. So that kind of might change some of the various properties when you're looking at combining it with different things. Now, the medical benefits of linalu is that it has been shown to be helpful in treating mental disorders such as depression as well as anxiety. Linalu may even be used as a sedative, sleep aid, as well as an anticonversalant. So kind of an uh, interesting kind of properties here for this particular terpene. Some studies even have reported uh, the anti-inflammatory effects of this essential oil, uh, and it is found in other things other than just cannabis. It's widely known for the ability to reduce stress, and it's used as an anti-anxiety, antidepressant, and also a sedative. Linalu is also used to relieve seizure symptoms, provide relief from those suffering from psychosis. It has a relaxing effect, and it can help you sleep better. So a lot of uh, great benefits with this particular terpene. If you're looking at potentially where to find it, well, this kind of gives you a general idea of uh, some strains uh, that might have this terpene in a little bit higher uh, concentration. However, cannabis strains with purple leaves and flowers tend to have higher concentrations of this linalu. However, the specific phenotype of each plant will be have different levels of this terpene that are actually present. Always good to get a test done. Now, the reason why I stress the purple leaves, uh, anthocyanins is another kind of plant pigment that's produced, and we notice a lot of purple coloration uh, associated with this particular terpene. So that is just a slight indication that if you're seeing something that has higher anthocyanin production, a little more of purple leaves, there's a chance or maybe odds that it will also have a higher concentration of linalu. Best of luck if you're looking for this particular terpene.